So with Nathan cleverly becoming Wales' newest world champion, he now joins a select list of just 10 other Welshmen to hold the global crown. Our sports correspondent Richard Morgan takes a look at some of the fighting stars of the past. Ten times Wales has scaled the heights of world boxing. Along the way, we've produced some of the greatest fighters in the history of the sport. Many developed their strength in the heavy industries that dominated Wales at the turn of the last century. But Freddie Welsh, who became world lightweight champion in 1914, enjoyed a very different upbringing to most boxers. His father was an auctioneer, his mother ran a, a hotel. Uh, he was actually educated at a private boarding school for a while, which is where I think his accent from pont de meant he had to learn to fight. He then went to America as a teenager, rode the rods, lived with the hobos, earned a few crusts in, in campsite brawls, and eventually got himself into boxing. A few weeks before the outbreak of World War I, Welsh defeated American Willie Ritchie for the world title. In the following years, he defended his belt successfully and became a well-known figure in American high society. Jimmy Wilde came into boxing in a much more traditional way. A miner from Tyler's Town, he became known for a phenomenal punching power that belied his modest physique. He was around seven stone throughout most of his career, maybe less, fighting people at the eight stone division and also going on to fight people at bantamweight and even featherweight in non-title fights. And what's more, he could knock them out. He wasn't just an elusive boxer, he had real power and the combination of uh, his slight frame and this explosive punching earned him what I still think is the best nickname ever given to a boxer, the ghost with a hammer in his hand. Wales had to wait more than 50 years for its next world champion, Merthyr's Howard Winston, winning the crown at the third attempt. In more modern times, several have worn the mantle for varying periods. <laughs> but none with the panache of Joe Calzaghi. 46 professional wins and no defeats. Statistics that mark out the Newbridge man as one of the best. The beating he handed out to Lacey was incredible. I've never seen a fighter at that level so in charge of a fight. And Lacey still fights and has never been the same since. So many memories, so many marvellous practitioners of the sweet science. Now Nathan Cleverley takes his place on the Roll of Honour.